gauge and how to fill up your car with gas are two things I took for granted as a regular car driver that I had to relearn after I got my Riker. Stay tuned to see what you have to do differently with your Riker for gassing up. You know, as a driver of a four-wheel vehicle for many years, I take for granted that every vehicle has a functional gas gauge. Well, imagine my surprise when I learned that the Riker gas gauge is not that useful. You may have noticed I stayed at full for a long time, misleading you into thinking that your Riker has wonderful fuel efficiency like most two-wheel motorcycles until it starts dipping and then holy crap it dips awfully fast and before you know it you're out of gas well it turns out the gas sensor cannot be very accurate because of the shape of the fuel tank on the Riker the fuel gauge sensor doesn't even start dipping until this point which is like after one quarter of the tank has been used and the bottom of the tank is narrower than the belly of the tank so once it gets to about half you have like only a tiny little bit of gas left before you are out so i do not trust this gas gauge now if you hit the bottom left button you can get to something called autonomy which is supposed to tell you how many miles you have left that number seems also fishy to me so i don't trust it either <laughs> There is also another setting that says fuel stats. Now, because the gas gauge and autonomy doesn't give me a whole lot of confidence, um, I don't really trust this fuel stat either. So I calculate exactly how much fuel economy I get and when to get gas. And this is how I do it. So every time I, there I get gas, I reset the trip odometer to zero and I leave it there to see how many miles I've ran since the last full tank of gas. I know I can run 120 miles without any problem, so I start looking for gas station then. I've heard others have gone up to 180, mm, but I don't tend to push my luck that far. I imagine how much fuel economy you get depends on, for example, the weight that you're carrying on the Riker, um, the mode that you're running in, whether you're in eco mode or rally mode, and how hard you work that throttle. So for me, I know I get about 33 miles per gallon. And the Riker's fuel tank is over 5 gallons. So just to make the math easy for me, um, I assume 30 miles per gallon at five gallons of gas, I should be able to get 150 miles in without a problem. And so that's the point at which I usually get gas. Now, pumping gas into my car. I've done it for years, never had any trouble. <laughs> but with the Riker, <laughs> I learned that, okay, you've got to do things a little bit differently. <laughs> the first time I press the gas handle all the way, like I usually do when I gas up a car, and pfft, <laughs> gas spilled out of the gas cap and came out through an overflow tube next to my right front wheel. It was a mess. I've learned you've got to pump as slowly as the gas pump will allow. So I usually don't press all the way. I lighten up as lightly as I can and try to pump as slowly as I can, keeping my eyes on the meter to try to make it go slow. Now, I don't know if, if it's my Riker or the pump that I'm using, um, but it tends to stop as if to tell me that it's full. When I know, given how many miles I've driven and how many gallons I've pumped in already, that it is not full. So this is where it's useful to know how many miles you have driven and to know your approximate gas mileage so that I can keep pushing it and kind of re-pumping it slowly even after the handle clicks 
to indicate that it's full. So it's kind of like topping off, except you're just trying to fill your tank up with gas. So for example, if I've written for 120 miles, I know I should fill up approximately with four gallons of gas. So even if it stops at three gallon, I will push it and get it to pump more to try to get it as close to four gallon as possible. And once it gets really close to four gallons, I've got to really be careful. Once it stops at some point, I have to decide, okay, is it really full? And then really stop then because you don't want gas spilling over your gas cap or through the overflow tube onto the ground. Gasoline will damage your plastic, so if you do have a spillover, wipe it up immediately. So now that I'm done, I've got to remember to always reset. So here, click to settings, RPM, that's not what I want, fuel stat. See, says I have 32.6, which is pretty close to my 33. Now, top left button, and flip to my trip odometer, 160.3. I just keep pressing it until it resets. Got to remember to do that every single time. There you go. I hope this is helpful to other new Riker writers out there. Have fun. Please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, and write safe.